Good evening, I'm Tina Monzon Palma. Our top story, the first confirmed case of MERS coronavirus in the Philippines. The infected Filipino is a worker who just came home from the United Arab Emirates. More from Nadia Trinidad. The Philippines now has its first confirmed case of the deadly Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, or MERS-CoV. The health department says a Filipino who returned from the United Arab Emirates Tuesday tested positive for the virus after he had contact with a Filipino who died of MERS-CoV in the UAE. Four family members who traveled with the man and five others who picked them up at the airport have also been quarantined. Because this was a whole family, uh, the, the father uh, had the contact with the Filipino uh, who died of the MERS virus in the UAE. Okay. And so therefore all of those people who had contact with this particular uh, patient were examined in the UAE. And it's in what we call a nasopharyngeal swab, meaning it's a swab of the throat. Of the throat. Mm. And so that takes a good maybe five, six days before the result comes out. And uh, so he, since he, is, uh, he was... Uh, and is uh, still with no symptoms. He was allowed to, to leave. The DOH adds about a dozen others who were in the same flight as the man are being located so they can undergo testing. Symptoms of the virus include fever, cough, breathing difficulties, and diarrhea. For those people that is, uh, that has been exposed to a possible case of like MERS coronavirus, it may take around uh, up until 14 days for us to be able to clear them but they're actually free of, may have not acquired the infection at all. Over in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, there's growing concern among Filipinos following reports four of the five OFWs are suspected to have MERS-CoV. As a nurse and uh, being in direct contact with, uh, with, with patient, uh, nababahala rin kami na sa race na ma mahawa sa kumakalat na, na virus ngayon dito sa Middle East. Although we were trained in handling patients having communicable or infectious diseases. Uh, kumpara sa nakaraang linggo, uh, mas nababahala ang aming mga staff, uh, lalo na yung mga healthcare providers sa pagsuot ng, ng respiratory mask at paggamit ng mga hand sanitizers nang, nang, nang sa ganun maiwasan uh, ang pagkuha ng ang pagkuha ng 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 kasalukuyang kumakalat na Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus. The Philippine Consulate in Jeddah is now verifying reports of infected Filipino workers, and it stands ready to assist them if they are confirmed to be suffering from the virus. Saka si Welfare Officer uh, Amelito, Dr. Amelito Adel at uh, upang malaman at uh, alamin kung sino nga ang mga kung totoo nga ang balita may mga na, kasakit ng mga Pilipino. Na bumalik sa amin kung paano sila ay magulat, sabi nila ay hindi sila mabigyan ng informasyon dahil ito daw ay, ito daw ay confidential na information. So, ang ginawa namin ay, ay para, para, para makuha natin ng informasyon na yun, nagpadala kami ng note na ba sa Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, na kumihili na kung pwede uh, ibigyan tayo ng mga informasyon ng tungkol sa mga kababayan natin uh, na maaaring na, nahawa ng mga sakit. The consulate has also highlighted a health advisory from the Saudi Health Ministry with precautionary measures to avoid infection. Nadia Trinidad, ABS-CBN News.